What's up there everyone, welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. In this video I am going to talk about sleep. In this video, I actually don't want to talk about how to sleep better or sleep quality or how to optimize your sleep. There's a lot of videos on that. And if you actually want to learn more about that, a book that I could highly recommend you to read is a book by Matthew Walker on why we sleep. That's the name of the book, why we sleep. <laughs> and it's on why we sleep, yeah. Uh, and it is actually a book just on all the latest research and, and findings and everything about sleep. And the book also covers how to sleep better and how to improve the quality of it. So if you want to read a book about that, an in-depth book, uh, then I would recommend you that one. But like I said, this video is not about that. This video is about another problem. Something that, to be honest, I used to struggle with for for a long time until I did what I want to share here. So what I used to struggle with was that I hated to go to bed. Like I did not like going to bed. So I just ended up sometimes just even when I was tired, stayed up and just kept working or kept doing something else because I just found sleeping very boring. I just found it the you know the going to bed and laying there like I found that to be very boring and because of that I never felt motivated in a way even like feeling tired didn't motivate me enough uh, to go off to bed and this is a problem that does happen with 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 some people uh, and maybe it happens to you it's not many times talked about to be honest and I want to provide the best solution for me, that I personally found that worked for me, uh, so I'm not saying it might work for you, but it did just magic for me. Uh, and that solution is standing right over there on my desk that you probably can't see, so let me just take it. That solution is... Uh, fiction books. What a good fiction book actually does, and it has to be a good, engaging fiction book, right? With a good story. It actually made me very excited to go off to bed because I would be able to, to read further in the story. What I would suggest, if you might have the same problem like I do, uh, or if you might be in a certain way struggling with finding motivation to go off to bed, is to get yourself a really good fiction book. And not just any kind of fiction book, uh, not just any kind of books, you know, don't go for nonfiction. Uh, the reason for that is because it will actually put your brain on again. And, and another reason why actually it's good to get a fiction book and especially a fantasy or sci-fi is that it kind of takes you away from this world and this place and can just get you to some other place. Uh, somewhere else than here and it really helps to relax and and to just get your mind off from all the worries that you might be having in this world and yeah I know not maybe everyone is like into those kind of genres of books but I think with every kind of genre it's just depending on on the book uh, it just depends on the writer it just depends on the story because there will be a fantasy and sci-fi book uh, and story that you would feel and find very engaging. It's just a matter of finding the right one. So if you haven't, then I hope I could actually help you with finding a good one. Uh, if you already like reading fantasy and fiction books, I kind of want to provide some different than the the most kind of common ones. Harry Potter, The Lord, Lord of the Rings, uh, Game of Thrones, and they are all great books, but there's so many more that you might not know that I am going to cover here. And a last thing before I um, go into the list of some recommendations is that what I would recommend is to leave this book, to leave it actually in your bedroom. So don't read it throughout the day. That's sort of the reward to have a good story to look forward to when I'm going off to bed. That's the reward of going to bed. And uh, yeah, and so it's all just a matter of finding a good book, which I am going to go and I'm going to recommend you a few. It's not going to be hundreds, but it's just going to be some of my favorite ones. 
that I could really recommend you to check out. Let me just move this actually uh, yeah, somewhere. Far Cedar Trilogy from Robin Hop. Highly recommended. My all time favorite trilogy at the moment. I recently got myself into it and I just can't stop reading it every night. It just, uh, yeah, it's, it's so good. Uh, there is uh, a couple more trilogies in the whole world, so uh, I'm reading now another trilogy in the world, and I think in total there are about nine books or twelve in this universe. So there's a lot of th <laughs> there's a lot of content uh, to get yourself uh, into. So Far Seer trilogy from Robin Hop. Uh, in the description, by the way, I will link this list, so you can also find it there with links to Amazon, uh, so you can read you know, the, the, the description and some of the reviews from other people. The next one that I could highly recommend is the Mistborn trilogy from one of my all-time favorite writers, uh, Brandon Sanderson. I have read so many books from Brandon Sanderson and uh, yeah, he has written so many incredible books. Uh, a few more that I will recommend here are from him. But the Mistborn trilogy is an incredible good story that... Uh, I've gifted, uh, or I've lent this book, this trilogy, and recommended it to, uh, it to a couple of people, and each one of them loved it. Just loved it. Another book is, uh, and this is, uh, there is about 10 books in this universe. It's also from Brandon Sanderson, uh, and it's called The Stormlight Archive. And the first book is The Way of Kings, Brandon Sanderson is still writing them. Fourth one is coming out uh, in a couple of months, but then there is still six more coming sometime in some years. But uh, the first three, I can already tell you, are incredible, just incredible. Most people know The Witcher from either the video games or from the Netflix series. But uh, the, next, the Netflix series is actually based on the novels from N.Z. Sapkowski, sorry to, to mess that name up in pronunciation, the novels are so good. So, I mean, there is a vast amount of novels already out from The Witcher and the stories are just great. Th those were some of the physical copies that I have, but mainly I don't read any more physical copies, not because I don't like that, uh, you know, it's really nice to hold a book, but most of my books now I actually read on an e-reader, uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. If you would actually uh, read the book Why We Sleep or watch any video on improving your sleep quality, when you have a physical book, you need to turn light on, right? And it actually is not good to have any kind of light on. Of course, when you read uh, from an e-reader, uh, there is um, there is a light kind of there too, but you can adjust the lighting in the e-reader to maybe 10 or 15% that you can that you you can read right, but that it's not like overblowing in your face with light, uh, which you do often have with actually an, a, a, a lamp that you put on. So this is what I mean. I can read a book, but then I need to turn the light on like that, or with my e-reader, uh, you know, I can set it to a very low. Uh, brightness and uh, then it doesn't affect me so much the light uh, so that's good actually when the light it will actually stop and reduce melatonin which is the main sleep hormone that starts to happen at night when when light is getting less right uh, and it's really important actually to to have melatonin and to not stop it, and you stop it by actually having lights in your face. If I could give one kind of tip of uh, improving your quality, improving you falling asleep, improving that, it would be to, to either get a, a e-reader where you can adjust the lighting, or to get a lamp where you can actually adjust the strength and set it to a minimum that you can still see the words the rest of your surroundings should be kind of dark, you know, it should not be too much light. My other books that I have are actually just on my e-reader. But anyway, I'm gonna put here an image of the book that I'm gonna talk about, so you see it. Another recommendation that I have is Skyward, also by Brandon Sanderson. There's actually uh, four books in that 
universe coming out. Uh, right now, there's two out. Uh, the other two he's working on, but the first two are so, so, so good. They are so good. They're leaning more to the sci-fi, you know, uh, genre of fiction books. I am so looking forward to the next two coming out, hopefully soon enough. The Name of the Wind, so the King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rutfus uh, is amazing as well. Uh, yeah, like he spent on the first book seven years working on it and it shows like it kind of reminds me in a way of Harry Potter in certain areas because of the, the university, the school that he goes to, the main character. Uh, but great book. Uh, right now, there's because it's a trilogy, there's two out. The first two are just amazing. Amazing. Oh, another one that I do actually have a physical copy of is uh, Steel Hearts. Uh, this is also from Brandon Sanderson, like I said, do like this writer. Uh, so Steel Hearts, The uh, Reckoners, it's also a trilogy. Uh, all three of them are out, so you can enjoy the whole story from start to finish. Here are some books that are maybe less known, uh, but if you check the reviews uh, and, you know, people have read it, they're great books. Town of Wonder, book one, uh, by Jonathan Renzio. Renzio is a great book. Uh, I've read the first one, um, but the other ones I still have to read. But the first one was just really, really, I liked it. I really liked it. The Shadow of What Was Lost, the Licanius trilogy by James Islington. It's also a trilogy. All the three books are out. And not too long ago, like uh, two months ago, I read the last book. And uh, yeah, I actually would love to read. I don't have that a lot of times that I would want to reread certain books. Uh, but that, those three books, I would love to reread, to be honest. Because uh, it was a very complex story with a lot of things happening. Some time travel makes it always more complex. Uh, but uh, it was a very amazing book. And the last one that I want to recommend um, is, you know, maybe you don't per se like to read, read, you know, uh, but maybe you like audiobooks because they can have the same effect actually of, of having a good story to look forward to when you go to bed. But a good audiobook that I could recommend is uh, The Land by Eldrin Kong. Uh, there's about eight books right now out. Uh, there's more coming, but uh, there's already eight, which, I mean, there's a lot already to get into. The narrator is amazing. I love his voice. He's so good. And uh, it, the story itself and the world and everything is is amazing. It's hilarious. It's everything. It's a great adventure uh, to get into and to get excited for, to tune on and to forget the world around you. Those are... Some out of my bookshelf that I took out that I would say that I could really recommend you to, to check out. And in the description, you can read more uh, a better summary of each book uh, and with a link to Amazon so you can have a look at the review and order your copy. I hope I actually provided something new for you that really works like magic to me uh, and hopefully cool to you as well. So, but with that, um, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, put a thumbs up and click on subscribe for other awesome videos to come. So that's the guy wondering how the hell they managed to fall asleep.